Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So I have a quick review for you today. Hold on, I'm always adjusting my camera at the beginning. It looks wonky or something. Um, okay, so I have a review for you today. A product I'm really excited to review actually. I picked these up just before my no-buy started um, and I tested them out this week. Um, and I, uh, I'm very happy about them. And I can't wait for my no-buy to be over so I can buy the other ones. Okay, obviously by the title, what I'm reviewing today is the Color Tattoo um, 24 Hour Eyeshadow by um, Maybelline. So it looks like that. And I bought two colors. First one I bought is Bad to the Bronze. And I will swatch these two. I'll just show them to you like this for now. And then the other one is Tough as Taupe. And you guys probably saw these in my haul. I wanted to buy one that was matte and one that had some shimmer to it just to kind of see how they wore. Um, so first off, they're amazing. I really like cream eyeshadows. I, 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 always, I always have. I talked about them a lot this summer to you guys. Um, and I really kind of fell in love with the Tarte um, waterproof whatever. And I don't know if these ones say that they're waterproof or not. They don't, and I did not test that, where the Tarte ones do, but at any rate. Um, so I was excited to give these a try to see if I could find you guys a dupe for something that I talk about all the time. And I truly think that I have found that. Um, as far as the waterproof part, I mean, how many people are actually throwing on some eyeshadow and then running in the pool or the lake? Not me so much. And as long as it's resistant in the summer, like, you know, to sweat and that kind of thing, then I'm good. Um, okay, so... I am going to show you, actually I'll do this first. That probably makes more sense. Okay, so here is Bad to the Bronze. These are so creamy. Let me see if you guys can, do you see how creamy that is? And they, they take a little bit to set. Once they set, they do not budge. I think I was telling you guys in my haul that I swatched them right away when I got home and um, then let them and messed with them later and I was like, oh, that really does kind of not move and I really had to scrub to get them off. So that's a good thing. Okay, on this finger is, this is the Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazonian Clay Cream Eyeshadow in Shimmering Taupe. So that's what the cover of it looks like. I'll show you this next to each other in a minute, but that's what the color inside looks like. And this, like I said, is shimmering taupe. And that is this one. And this is my favorite. I have several of these. This is my favorite. And I waited too long after I swatched this on my finger. Because this one, the Tarte one, set really fast. These ones just take a second to this. Well, you guys, you can, hopefully you can see, and they're showing, they're very, very similar. The, um... Tarte one is a little bit darker, but not much at all. Just, I think it's a really good dupe and much more inexpensive. I'll double check the price of the Tarte one. I want to say it's like $18 um, for the Tarte one. And these t color tattoo ones are um, seven, I think they're like six eighty. dollars so we'll call it $7. Um, and this, the Tarte one is 3.4 grams. And this one is 0.4 grams. So it's more product, less money, same wear. Practically the same product, the same, I just am amazed by that. Okay. You know how I get. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and it was, let me show you these in the pot next to each other. So this is, I mean, this looks like it's way ginormous, -er, way, way much larger. Um, but it's just that this is deeper and this is thinner. So they're there next to each other. Okay, so that one is Bad to the Bronze. And then this one is um, Tough as Taupe. Yes, Tough as Taupe. Show you that here. It's really nice matte and I wore this one. Um, what did I put in the crease? Infallible, maybe? So 
I was going to show you. Yes, I swatch. Nice, matte. Um, these did not crease at all. Now, I always use a paint pot underneath um, because I, I just kind of have redness, so it's, I don't do it. I mean, obviously, I don't want creasing either, but that's why I always use something in my eyes to, there's just a lot of red, so. Then what I checked this out for is to see if it's a dupe for um, Benefit Skinny Jeans. You know, everybody talks about that. And these are the two of them side by side. Colors are very similar. Skinny Jeans has a little more shimmer to it. Skinny Jeans. I'm showing you this because I, in my haul I, I wondered out loud whether it was a dupe. So Skinny Jeans has more of a sheen to it. But color-wise, they are very similar. I would say Skinny Jeans has a little more, a little more beige taupe, where the toughest taupe is a little more purpley taupe, if that makes sense. And the toughest taupe is matte, where there's a sheen to the Skinny Jeans. But, you know, if you're putting it as a base and a shadow on top of it, I think you'll probably get the same effect. And I know frequently I've seen people like Juicy Tuesday and um, gosh, maybe Michelle 1218 have done tutorials using skinny jeans as a base. So I would think aside from the shimmer factor, this would be a, a relatively good dupe. So I'm very excited about these guys. I hope, I hope that, um, you know, you're excited too. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, and I was just gonna show you a, a Mac paint pot. Let me do another swatch of this. Mac paint pot has five grams of product, so it has more product compared to these. You can see there's more product in the Mac. This is a Mac. This happens to be quite naturally. I pulled quite naturally, just thinking it would be a color that would show up pretty well. So you can see um, the texture of the two of them being the same. So, all right, let me just take my watch off here. <laughs> I mean, seriously, why do you guys watch Mama Train Rock? So, um, the color-wise, they are not the same, but smoothness-wise, I just think they're so very similar. So this is quite naturally, and this is tough as taupe. Again, not saying they're the same color. Just um, finish-wise, both of them are matte. So any of the matte paint pots, these this is the it's the same kind of finish. Now I did not see, and maybe uh, my Alta just didn't have it. I think no, I got mine at Walmart. Um, maybe they didn't have it, but it would be nice if they came out with a color like um, Painterly or Soft Ochre or one of those you know kind of base colors because that would be a great. Um, you know, much more inexpensive dupe because these are like $18 um, to a paint pot. I think they're really good. I'm really impressed, as you can tell, because I've been rambling about them for eight minutes. So anyway, if you have any other questions um, that I didn't address, feel free to leave it below. Oh, and I will show you, I am today wearing the bed to, bed to the bronze all over my lid. And I have a little brulee as a highlight and I took just a little bit of mocha from Makeup Geek in the crease and under my lash line and then on my lash I have, uh, or on my top lash line I have Stubborn Brown from MAC. But you can see how pretty it is and they just blend out like a dream. Like a dream. All right, with that, <laughs> I will let you go now that I've rambled for a little bit. Um, later this week I will have a review up of the L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadows and yeah and then next week once I've done I've gotten all my favorite videos that I've pre-recorded up and this review and that review up then I will get back to a topic Tuesday of some sort I promise so I hope you guys are having a great week and I will talk to you guys soon thanks for watching bye